Yes, I. And I said, this is Chronics keeping it very live and very hot, representing for Boom Shot. And I said, East and Second and Cease and welcome the man from out of East. Cease, Babylon and Chronics in the streets, I mean. My mother used to beat me boy when my father beat me. If you go to school and come back, with me uniform set different, she beat me. If you know, say, I'm gonna grow your good boss up. So, Chronix, it's your first time on Sting stage. How the hell did that feel? I mean, you know, I mean, for me, it's just life and the earth is my stage, you know? So, I mean, Sting is a small stage in the bigger stage, you know? So, I mean, we have to really give thanks for the opportunity, same way, you know? and, and I hope Sting take this. Um, having us young artists on Sting, I hope they take it as an opportunity as well, you know? Because, I mean, there is no denying it. We are the future of the music, you know, the young artists. So. You just, but I'm sitting right next to you. You are calm and cool as a cucumber. How do you just go on with all the hype that has been going on with Sting 2012? Go on stage, walk off stage, and still be so chilled. I mean, I'm going to tell you, the, um, it's just give us peace in our soul, you know, and it's just really make us this comfortable and this observant of, you know, of life and the world. I mean, this earth is so beautiful. I mean, people, they are so beautiful. It's a joy to just sit back and look at people. You know? I mean, it's a joy to be alive right now, you know, so, um, right. I need to spend a week with you so I can calm down and chillax before I go back to London. Yeah, Man, I mean, you're getting so much, like you're so calm. Well, music is what keeps I and I calm. Life on a whole, and, and I'm really humbled by this opportunity. The reception of the people right now, I'm still in a daze to see how people really receive the music. You know, I mean, I'm not even relatively, I'm very new to this music business, you know. And, you know, I reject the business and focus on the music, and to see me step on a stage that big. And have every single person in the audience attention, and I mean it's a joy for me. That these are the things that keeps and I very humble, and you know it, it really calms me down. It's like therapy for me, you know. <laughs> You say you're really new in the business, but you've just released a mixtape with Walsh Fire from Major Lazer. What was that like? How was it working with that crew? Me, it was very good. You know, Walsh Fire is like myself. You know, it's very explosive on stage, but when you meet him off stage, you know, it's a cool individual you know, and him love music wholeheartedly so I mean that's a person like myself so I mean naturally you know we had to make some music together so we link up and we do you know the J Will team and Ezra really introduced us and we took it from there you know work on the music and presented the mixtape and it, you know it got a whole heap of hits you know in, within the first week it was like 50,000 plays and SoundCloud and you know, it's still growing and you know, it's very close to 100,000 right now. And it was released in November, November 26th. So, I mean, it's, it's Where like, did you record all the stuff? Was it here in Jamaica? 
yeah, I mean, all the songs were recorded here in Jamaica. Um, and you know, we have to big up the whole level studio and the whole Anbesa music. And we say, the whole movement, Baby Rock, Zing Fence, Java Evil, Indignation, you see. So, right now, you know, we did the music here. You know, while she came here and we worked together and went back, work on the mixtape release. It's so good. And it, I mean, it is in a line of a lot of great accomplishments that I and I got to witness in 2012. So, you know, we have to give thanks. Let's move forward into 2013. What shall we expect from you in 2013? Well, I mean, only Jan knows what the future will, you know. So I and I don't bother to make plans sometimes. You're just uh, like, going with the flow? I mean, I just go with the ordinance and with the orders of His Majesty and with the voice of the earth. You know, wherever the earth drag I and I am going. You know, I mean, wherever, I'm, wherever the message is needed, I'm going. Who are you looking forward to seeing today perform on Sting? I mean, if I don't leave the venue right now, I would, I'm definitely here to see Romain Virgo because I just saw Ivan Man Drew playing. And I mean, I'm definitely here to see Romain Virgo. Um, you know, he's a very good artist, and I mean, and he's grown incredibly since yeah. he started the music industry. Yeah, man, and we are both supporters of each other's music, you know. So I mean, Romain go out there and do thing and do it for the people because you know that's what we, the youths, are for the people. You know what I mean, like, if not for the people, we wouldn't be doing music. So, yeah, man. And just a quick question, I mean. Just want to talk about the girls a little bit. Um, what do you think about the whole Spice and Maca clash? Well, I mean, clash is a part of dancehall history, and uh, my advice to them would actually be keep it musical and keep it clean. And remember that women are the upholders of the earth. So please don't try and degrade yourself and in any way, shape or form, the other women of the world, you know, keep the integrity and dignity of women up. So if you are going to clash, keep it artistic, keep it musical and keep it clean. Don't be, don't make a big show of yourself and, you know, don't make the show business force you to disrespect women, you know, and the divinity of women. So, I mean, and I respect women deeply, you know what I mean? So. Right now, I just want them to know, say, oh, just keep it musical and artistic. You say, use an artist, be an artist. Don't keep it clean. Yeah, man, keep it clean. Keep it clean, that's your advice. Advice from Chronic. Yeah, man. Yeah. And the money in the world and the prettiest girl Tell your whole Jesse Bell me no price yeah.